Hello, fishermen in there. Another day, another video. This time is the complete opposite of what I did last time. I want you guys to know price of Bitcoin is up 6% and Ethereum is up 6% as well. As always, uh, other coins run first. Bitcoin Cash will run later. There is the follower, not the leader at this moment. But maybe in the future, Bitcoin Cash will become leader again. But if you have invested uh, with the diversified portfolio, as I told you about, then you should be having a very good day today. So what's really going on? Of course, I, everybody must have heard about the story that the U.S. has um, started the um, approval process for cryptocurrencies to become uh, commodities instead of securities, which is a huge news. When this news first came out, I already thought this is going to make a huge difference in pricing. Thank you. Thank you very much. Amazing. So we're getting amazing food here. Maybe you can feature the food as well. I'm not a food blogger. <laughs> I'm not a food blogger, but uh, maybe one day I'll become one. Cryptocurrency and food maybe goes hand in hand. Who knows? Let me see. Yep, that's good. Should be good enough. Yeah. So uh, th the reason I need to um, talk about this now is because I was a commodity trader for 10 years in Singapore. I was the biggest private trader for silver futures contract in Singapore for quite a few years straight. So I do know something about commodity trading and here's the difference. And I think most people don't understand how big this news is. This is gigantic news, okay? Once the, uh, cryptocurrency is uh, regulated as commodities. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. Wait, the topping. Let's just feature the topping for a moment. See the topping here? Extra topping. And this place, the ramen is amazing. Just let you guys know. This is not my first time and w definitely won't be the last time. Now, while I'm eating the ramen, at the same time, I want to talk about the difference between cryptocurrency traded as commodity or traded as, um, traded as uh, let's say, um, securities. So, once it's regulated as commodities, what happens now is that insider trading no longer applies. This is very, very, very important. Remember, every time I make a video, I always say something like, I'm not a financial advisor, don't sue me if you lose money. Once it's regulated as commodities, like oil, like gold, I don't have to say any of that thing anymore because nobody can, nobody can influence the market with insider trading in commodities. If you just talk about the market without putting on a position, you have no influence on the market. Therefore, you can say whatever you want, it doesn't really matter unless that particular co cryptocurrency is regulated as a security then you got to be extra careful because as a security you can be having insider trading issues you have um, regulatory issues you must pass certain exams to be able to talk about securities without disclaimers <laughs> yummy so Securities and commodities are completely different ballgame. Imagine this. Can you sue someone for saying you should buy gasoline? Imagine someone says, I need gasoline. You say, why don't you just buy more gasoline? That is not a financial advice. The same thing goes for someone say, I'm thirsty. You say, go buy this bottle of water. That's also not financial advice. Real estate, similar. I need a house. You say, why don't you buy a house in Melbourne? Not a financial advice. You don't have to disclaim yourself whatsoever. But if you say you want to make money and you want to buy, you don't know which share to buy, you say you should buy shares in, let's say, Stockland. Then that is a financial advice unless you disclaim yourself because Stockland is a company that benefits directly or indirectly from your investments. And whatever you say about the share has a direct impact on the share price itself because you could have information that nobody else has. That's entirely possible. But in commodity trading, there's no such thing as insider trading. You can only win by being smarter than everybody else. Therefore, it's open for all. This means also once it's regulated, all the securities like uh, ETF will be easy to approve. Once Bitcoin, for example, is um, classified as a commodity, creating an ETF is easy as. Because legally speaking, you have no more framework issues.
in summary, this is probably the most bullish news I've seen in cryptocurrency for a long time. Look at the meat. So, if you haven't bought yet, you've missed the bottom. I can tell you right away. From here onwards, a lot of institutional money is going to come into the market. And the size of the institutional money is, cannot be underestimated. Just keep that in mind. So I'm going to continue eating my ramen. And I just want to make this a short video for you to know that you basically missed the bottom. If you haven't bought yet, you missed the bottom. From here onwards, only blue sky potential. Alright, thank you very much for watching. See ya.